السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to another episode of our uh, series on supplication. In this series we have uh, discussed various aspects relating to supplication dua. Uh, we've divided that to two different phases. In the first phase we talked about principles of supplication and we said that supplication is the essence of worship and supplication is an act of worship. Uh, supplication should be therefore devoted to Allah completely and exclusively and to Allah alone in complete dedication. Supplication is an indication of uh, your faith. It's, it's a manifestation of the testimony of faith. It's an indication that you believe in Allah as the near, the all-hearing, the all-seer, the all-capable, as the forgiving, the merciful, the compassionate, and, and so on and so forth. So it's an affirmation of your testimony of faith that Allah is the only one worthy of worship, that Allah is our Lord, that He is our maintainer and sustainer, protector and guardian, that He has the most beautiful names and attributes. That is why it is the essence of worship as the Prophet Wasallam taught us. And that is why it should be all devoted to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then we talked about why uh, our supplication sometimes does not get answered. And we said that people make haste, which they shouldn't, because the Prophet forbade us from making haste. And he said that we will be answered as long as we do not make haste. We will be answered as long as we will not make haste. And this is extremely important. Because to, to, to make haste with uh, supplication, it, it is like ruining everything you have done. It is like studying for many, many days and not going to the exam, on the day of the exam. Because you have already deserved some reward by making the supplication. And then when you act resentful and be resentful and say, I supplicated. I invoked Allah and he did not respond. He did not answer me. That is when your supplication will be rejected. If you did not do this, then the supplication will be granted to you or it will be deferred for you until the day of judgment. All Allah will protect you from an equal amount of evil because of your supplication to him. The other thing that you need to be aware of and conscious of is that we know not and Allah knows best. We don't know our best interest and Allah knows our best interest. As he says in Surah Tabarak, would he not know what he had created and he is the all subtle, the all knowing. He is the all subtle, subtle, all aware. All subtle, all aware, as he said in Surah Tabarak. So if Allah is the one who created us, then Allah is the one who knows about us. It, it, it even applies to machines. Who would be the best person to, to fix your, your, your general electric uh, fridge? It's the General Electric Company. It's the, it's the same company that made the, 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 the fridge itself, and so on and so forth. And you as a human being, you are the creation of Allah. He knows what's best for you and what's not best for you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَعَسَى أَن تَكْرَهُ شَيْئًا وَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ وَعَسَى أَن تُحِبُّ شَيْئًا وَهُوَ شَرٌ لَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ يَعْلَمُ وَأَنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ And you may dislike a thing and it would be good for you. And you may like a thing and it would be bad for you. And Allah knows best and you know not. And that particular part you know, the knowledge of Allah, that Allah knows best and we know, we know not, and that we have to uh, accept the guardianship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah, the disposition of affairs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, let him dispose your affairs for you. If, if you want to go to a particular university or college and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not let you into that university of, uh, or college, you have done your best, you've taken precautions, you've made provisions, you've been with Allah you know, on the path of righteousness and you have excelled in your studies and everything is done and then Allah does not let you into this college, then you know that Allah knows best for you and if you're one of his righteous servants, then he is planning for you and not planning against you. And you must trust him that he's planning for you and not planning against you. The same applies if you don't get 
uh, if you're interested in a particular woman for a spouse or a particular man for a spouse and, and, and it doesn't work out, know that Allah will plan for you. If you are one of his righteous servants and you have done your best, know that Allah will plan for you and know that you may like a thing and it would be uh, bad for you. And that takes us to the next dua that we will be talking about today, which is the dua in Surah Hud, and the dua of uh, our uh, pro- pro- Prophet Nuh and in this dua he said to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Rabbi inni a'udhu bika an as'alaka ma laysa li bihi ilm wa illa taghfir li wa tarhamni akum min al khasirin my lord I seek refuge in you from asking you that of which I have no knowledge and unless you forgive me and give me mercy, I will be of the losers. Unless you forgive me and give me mercy, I will be of the losers. When did Nuh say that? Nuh said that when he questioned, when he wondered. Uh, Allah promised him that he will make, that he will save him and ahlahu, his people. And then he, he uh, you know, now the flood is here. They are getting on board of the ship. The ship is sailing. You know, the flood will swallow up the rest of the people. And his son, his own son, is, is, is far away, rejecting to come on the ship of Nuh alayhi salam, being too proud and too arrogant to come on the ship of Nuh alayhi salam. And he wondered, he asked Allah, you promised me that you will save my people with me, and this is my son. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, don't ask me that of which you have no knowledge. And Nuh, you know, that is the difference between a believer and a disbeliever. That is the difference between Adam and Satan. That is the difference between Nuh and, and, and the rich and wicked drunk doers. Nuh spontaneously, immediately, promptly recognized his mistake, promptly f- f- repented, went back to Allah, returned to Allah and said, Oh, Rabbi, Rabbi, my Lord, inni a'udhu bika, I seek refuge in you. And as'alaka ma laysa li bihi ilm, from asking you that of which I have no knowledge. Wa illa taghfir li, and unless you forgive me, wa tarhamni, and bestow mercy on me, I will be of the losers. This is what we also should do. We should refer things to Allah. We should not ask Allah that we, of which we have no knowledge. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala withholds something from us, know that Allah plans for you if you were one of his righteous doers. And then Nuh said, after he sought refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from uh, asking that of which he has no knowledge, then Nuh said, if you do not forgive me and bestow your mercy on me, I will be of the losers like the rest of uh, the, the, the righteous believers would say when they commit a mistake. Inshallah, in the next episode, uh, we'll have another dua. And until I see you, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.